Okay, so let's do this. Which, ho which This is one of my QR questions. Which Hocus Pocus is more critical to maintaining the spinning ball world myth, gravity, refraction, dark matter, or dark energy? And I've been, I've been like binging on Austin Witsit videos. Um, I really do like his debate videos where he goes on with these flat earther or these ball earthers and he debates them. And they're, they're, they're like, they can't. I, I mean, it's really, like, it's really sad. Because they can't like defend their position. Okay, and he's he's very he's very smart about making that. First of all, he says I'm not making any positive claims about the shape of the earth, other than um, it's not a sphere. Okay, you're the ones that are making it. You're you're the ones that are making it a, a po You're making positive claims, very specific positive claims about the shape of the earth, size of the earth, that it rotates. And um, you're like I don't I don't have the burden of defending of defending a straw a straw man model or any model for that matter, but you do because you've made very because but ball earthers have made very specific claims about um, and then the three things that he hits are axial rotation. Okay, it's a sphere that rotates on an axis. Curvature and gas pressure next to an, an almost infinite vacuum, to an, or almost a perfect vacuum. Okay, and then he's like, and then he, then he goes through each of those, and he 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 tries to get them to prove. Well, of course, they can't. The axial rotation, which is that that one's really. I mean that that almost like that almost t tanks it right there for him, just because it's almost like it's unfalsifiable. There's almost like in order for a theory to be a scientific theory, it has to be falsifiable. There has to be a way to prove it wrong, and if you can't prove it wrong, then if it can't be falsified, then it's not it's not you're not talking about science anymore. But then again, then he'll go on to uh, curvature, and he he always <laughs> that's where that's where he hits it out of the park. He shows this picture and of a of a couple oil rigs off the shore, and the horizon is behind the oil rigs, and the farthest one out is nine miles, and or, is that right? Yeah, the farthest one out is like nine miles, and the amount of almost ten, I think. Um, and the amount of curvature, the the horizon, and it's this picture is made from a shot from an eye height height of uh, one foot. They give them five foot, and so the farthest the horizon could be the geometric horizon that there has to be on a flat earth or on a ball earth would be like less than three miles, and, and an eye height of five five feet. And the, the picture shows the rigs in front of the horizon, and the farthest one out is nine miles. So the horizon, it's at least nine miles from the horizon. So anyway, so this is like, but this is the, this is a question that I asked on, on QR. Which Hocus Pocus is more critical to maintaining the spinning ball world myth, gravity, refraction, dark matter, or dark energy? So this is where the, there's like, okay, so gravity... Is one of their like is what they invoke to explain what why there's a pressurized gas atmosphere next to a vacuum, next to an almost perfect vacuum. Okay, so that's one like if they can't like, and of course this is unfalsifiable. Another one of their unfalsifiable gravity things. It's like a deified. It's like a force. It's almost like it's almost like they compartmentalize the um, divine attributes of God. Gravity is it's is omnipot is God's omnipotence. It's this force that, that you can't like measure. You just have you just assume that it's there, and then there's refraction, which is what they invoke, which is what they invoke to. 
to explain away the black swan. They say there's an apparent horizon that's caused by refraction and that it hides the geometric horizon. And that the geometric horizon is there, but it's never visible. Okay, then there's dark, dark matter and dark energy, which their equations don't work. There's not enough matter. There's not an, enough. We haven't observed enough, the existence of enough matter to make their equations work. So then they say, therefore, that there must be dark matter. There must be this ma matter that we can't observe or measure. Because otherwise the equations wouldn't work. And obviously, obviously the, the equations have to be true because the earth is a ball. I mean, it's that they're circular reasoning and then there's also there's also not enough observed energy there's not to make the, these equations work for the motion that all these planets are supposed to be in but anyway i haven't been getting a very good i asked a bunch of people with like answers in astrophysics and cosmology and this is about See here in this woman, she she says this. Thanks for giving me a good reason to mute and block you. Why would you like? And then she and then and then no comment. I can't comment on that. I can't respond because she didn't want to answer my because she couldn't answer my question. Okay, this one was kind of funny. Oh, this, this, okay, this one, you're right, it's not a spinning ball, it's a slowly rotating planet. Okay, but the pl this planet is a, a ball that's rotating, that's spinning. Rotating and spinning is the same thing. Okay, they're, they're synonyms. Okay, the, the, the definition of spinning and, and rotating is the exact same. That is much bigger than a... Than a Spinning. Science does, that doesn't even make sense. This was, science does sometimes look like magic to those who don't have the education to understand it. Okay, so here, they're, they're okay, and so that's what they can't, like, if you don't, like, if they, if, if they can't prove their model to you, if they can't de de defend their position, they just say you don't have enough education or, or intelligence. Gravity is science. Wow. That, that's beautiful. Gravity equals science. Okay, is, is can be replaced with equal. So she's saying that gravity and science are the same thing. Which is gravity isn't, gravity is religion. Gra but it's not even, it's not even a re religion, it's part of a religion. But science is science is knowledge. I mean, if you want to go with, like s simply put, but I always think of science as being a method by, by which you can like test certain claims. And to you, it does look like mag magic. Dark matter energy has never been proven to exist. It's only a hypothesis. Your equations don't work. Why did you block? Why Why did you block me from commenting? Okay, your equations don't work, time traveler. If you don't have dark energy and dark matter. So if the, if dark ma if dark matter and energy are only a hypothesis, Then there's uh, then your 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 ball world is gone. Your your ball world isn't like is is not not likely true. Although a hyp hypothesis, you know, there's some hypotheses that I suppose are true, but this one was kind of funny. I'm not going to read the whole thing though because I want to move on. Okay, th this one was actually kind of a decent answer. Kind of decent, but it's like, but it's more, it's more just so, ju you know, and denials that gravity, gravity is hocus pocus. 
and so is refraction. The way they calculate refraction is the, to calculate the amount of the missing curve. They find out how much curve is missing based on, you know, the equation of eight inches per mile squared. And then they just say that the refraction equals the amount of curve that they can't show. And that somehow, and that somehow refraction hides the geometric, hides the geometric horizon and creates it makes it, it makes it reappear farther away so anyway now real quick <laughs>